right, Tyler, thank you. Well, UVM women's basketball team making headlines lately, clinching the American East regular season title. NBC5's Jack Bain introduces us to another team making headlines across the nation. Is he just lingering? <laughs> no, he wasn't even there. He's just oh. down the hall. Well, best <laughs> You are looking at two of the best college basketball players in the country. NVU Johnson women's basketball program flies largely under the radar in NCAA Division III. But Paris Antoheny and Gabby Wardwell are putting the Badgers on the map. We just all agreed on like, we really wanted to do something special this season and I guess make history along the way, so that was cool. As a sophomore, Paris averaged 23 and a half points third best in the nation, and Gabby led the nation in rebounding, pulling in 18.2 boards per game, three more than second best. Rebounded by Wardwell. They credit team chemistry as the reason behind their success. Getting to know each other as players so you know how to play with each other on the court, I feel like that's a huge part of it. They started playing pickup ball together. They started going down to Burlington in the summer and playing in women's leagues. So they started building that chemistry with each other outside of the court, outside of coach being around, outside of the weight room. Learning who each other are are people and human beings and they're really great human beings. And What's even more remarkable about Gabby's success, she didn't start playing basketball until eighth grade but quickly developed a nose for the basketball just down the road at Springfield High School. I got a chance to go up and watch her a few times, and, uh, you know, she had over 30 rebounds in one of the games that we, we saw. It was, was quite impressive. So, yeah, it's not something anyone can do. You do have to have a knack for it. Part of Greg Ekman's recruiting strategy is finding a diverse group of players, which is how he was able to bring Paris from Arizona to Vermont. I wish I could like have a cooler story, but I mean, it was just talking to Eck and like the people here. And it just felt like home, like it felt like family. And I was like, well, this could be somewhere like I could really build myself up and become my own person. So the comfort of a new home was made easy by one team goal. At the end of the day, we all have like that common goal of wanting to win. So and win they did, amassing the Badgers highest win total in over 20 years. In Johnson, Jack Maine, NBC5 News.